to get into this. I want to stay works, on my- That does work on the desktop. Okay. Um, but I, I can't get- do a uh, stream yard on the desktop. I have to use okay. this to use stream yard. All right. African Queens on Netflix, right? So uh, where's the picture? I watched this yesterday. This dropped on the 15th. Yeah, it dropped yesterday on the 15th. African Queens, the story of Queen Nzinga or Zinga. Um, I actually enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. However, you know, there were some underlining things about it. That was a little bit, you know, that I pushed back on, but it's called African Queens. And it was the story of Jenga, um, the, the queen, the I thought it was Nzinga. I don't know, but she was the queen of Angola. But I, um, the acting was good. I believe Jada Pickett is one of the writers or executive producers of this, um, of this show. And yeah, she she's not Jada Pickett Smith narrated this, and um, expert interviews and other documentary content with premium scripted docudrama about different queens. So this is the first installment, and they were highlighting Queen Jenga of Angola, and she was famous for stopping the Portuguese for taking as many Africans as they did during the slave trade in the early 1600s or mid 1600s. Now, you know, did she really, did she oh, that's stop? revisionist, you know, you did can she, look this historical person up. Yes. Did she stop the slave trade? No, but apparently because of her warrior experience and leadership, she prevented a lot of Africans from being enslaved. And she, at one point when she was in charge, oh, really? that she stopped, really? completely stopped the slave um, capture routes that they had set up and, and what, what, oh, we, what we call is that the new right story? Now. Is now, that the new story? Her father, her father was king. The father was apparently during the story was murdered. The son, who really wasn't in line to be king, he ended up taking the throne and killed her only son and killed the other brother and the families. But he was he was not an effective king. He they showed him having lack of courage or no type of war strategic intelligence. And she comes and he said, listen, I need you to take over and take control because I don't know what I'm doing. And he kills himself and she's in control. But she had to link up with other tribes. So one of her enemies, she ended up marrying so that he gave her, you know, more of his men to take over another town to build up her army to take on the Portuguese. But it also says she made a deal with the Dutch because the Dutch were coming in to to take over to cut in and cut out the Portuguese. So she made a deal with the ju- Dutch. Portuguese. 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 I don't got Portuguese. I don't give a Portuguese. God. Portuguese. Por- Portuguese. Pork- I don't give a shit. There, there were slave catchers. So F them. But the point I'm trying to make here is. Well, you I'm, like this slave catcher bunch. But the point I'm trying. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make. She did a deal with the Dutch. To get rid of the Portuguese, whatever. Portuguese. Portuguese. That's a Portuguese. Geese, Portu- geese. Portuguese. You that geese. their language. I'm sorry. Their language. Geese. Their language is one of the most ugliest and unsexiest languages. It's not sexy at all. It's not like Spanish. You ever been sexy, to Brazil? French is sexy. You ever but been to Brazil? Afro Brazilians. Brazilian people are beautiful. I'm just saying the Portuguese language is not. Portuguese it's ugly. language is it's what not they sexy. Speak it's in not Brazil. sexy. It's not sexy. It's not a sexy language. It's not. It's not. It's not. Very close to Espanol. No, but Spanish is more sexier. French is more sexier. Portuguese, whatever however you want to pronounce it, is not. It's not. I just I never thought of it. Okay, was- now 
what is supposed to come out of this when you've got all these boys doing these drive-bys and black on black homicide? Uh, what is that supposed to do? This, I mean, what is wrong with highlighting African queens? Uh, it put them in the historical context. I guess nothing. I suppose I mean, it would she was be... a warrior. Really? And apparently, in their culture, really, yes, yeah, that's Angola. What is Angola now? She was. I forgot mm-hmm. the name of the tribe. I'm gonna do a whole separate reaction video to it so I could break it down in details. Well, one of the other things she did not have a husband, but she had the women could have concubines too because she was the daughter of the king. So the children of the king could have concubines. So she had more than one man, but her baby daddy was her main man. <laughs> it had to highlight that. It, it did not Sounds have any like LGBT a feminist stuff. fantasy. Sounds <laughs> like a feminist fantasy. Uh, that's a good that's good for the title feminist fantasy um will you watch it just you know for research purposes or would you watch it nope nope okay don't judge him joe brown